Yeah, my tongue is on fire. Definitely could <laughs> taste the chili a lot more than everything else. I think my plate was definitely a lot more enjoyable, but... Wow, guys. I even just started busting a sweat. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another day here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, right now, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It literally just got done storming. It was raining extremely hard. The thunder was roaring, but it's gone. That's exactly what rainy season is like here in Thailand. Rain comes and goes. Usually only lasts about a half hour, if you're lucky, an hour maximum. But right now, we are in Sukhumvit Road, the Sukhumvit neighborhood of Bangkok, one of the most popular regions of the city, and by far one of those places that you're gonna visit when you come here as a tourist. Now today, I got an extremely special video planned for you guys because we're gonna be visiting Mark Ween's restaurant. You heard that right. Mark Weens, one of the biggest YouTubers out there. Now, right now, we're only a few minutes walk away from his restaurant, but I do want to share with you guys a couple tips and tricks before we make it there. Now, there are many different ways to reach the Sukhumvit neighborhood of Bangkok, no matter where you are in the city. Oh, let's make some room for the ice cream man. Wow, what a nice little cart, huh? So there's so many different ways to make it to the Sukhumvit neighborhood. You can get here in a taxi, in a grab, on the SkyTrain like we did, which is incredibly easy, and also on a bus. Now, we literally crossed the entire city in a matter of 45 minutes. We took a bus, then the SkyTrain, to the Ekamawi station, and now we are here. And not only is his restaurant located here in Sukhumvit, but also so many different shopping malls, so many beautiful temples. There's a lot to do in this neighborhood. Now, I know you guys probably wanna see what I wanna see, which is the food. I'm extremely hungry. Let's stop talking and let's make the three minute walk down the road to Fedmark. Now, for those of you guys not familiar with Mark Weens, I don't know where you've been hiding. Some sort of rock somewhere in this world because this man is literally everywhere. Every time you open up the YouTube homepage, his face pops up right there. Now, let me just tell you guys a little bit of a backstory of who Mark Weens is. So Mark Weens is actually an American citizen. He is from the United States. He was born in Arizona and got married to a Thai woman and just absolutely fell in love with Thailand and the Thai culture. Now, he opened up this restaurant here a few years back, but has been making travel videos for the last 10 years. Now, he's traveled the entire planet trying some of the world's best dishes and he is known for eating extremely spicy food. It doesn't matter which video you watch of Mark Weens, he's always wearing a shirt that says, if it's not spicy, I ain't eating it. And to be quite honest with you, I'm the complete opposite. If it's spicy, I tend to not eat it. However, today we are gonna try one of his spiciest dishes. I heard that his restaurant has one of the most spiciest pad cup prowls in the entire country of Thailand and I'm just so excited to try it. Now, Pad Caprao is actually a very famous stir fry that's known as a like a la carte dish here in Thailand. You can find it on the street, in many different street food stalls, and it is extremely delicious. Now, I've never had it extremely spicy, so I'm very interested to see how this turns out. We have just made it here to Fed Mark, Mark Ween's restaurant, and like many of you guys, I'm a huge fan of Mark and his content that he creates. He puts up a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces, including mine. I've actually been watching Mark Ween's videos for many years. In fact, so many years before I even picked up a camera myself. So definitely a huge inspiration. And I cannot believe we're finally here in Bangkok and about to try his favorite dish for ourselves. Now, right away, what you're going to notice as you're approaching the restaurant is that you can really smell the spiciness. They got the kitchen door open right now and it smells like things get extremely hot in there. Now, one of the things that makes this restaurant pop out in this neighborhood that's extremely modern are the bright colors. It's bright yellow, bright red. It has like the Spitfire logo with a little modification around the entire building. And as you can tell, it's a little flame with the chili in its mouth. So, Mark Weens is known for eating spicy. I have a feeling that we are going to, yeah, we're in for a treat. So before you walk into the main entrance, they actually have the menu displayed nice and big for you. So you know what you're gonna get your hands on before you even walk in there. Now what I'm noticing is, yes, they only have the one dish, the pad caprao, and they have the vegetarian option, pork, a sour pork, a squid option, a beef option, 
a Wagyu option and the Wagyu shank. How amazing is that? And down here at the bottom, they have all the spicy levels. The one, which is probably what I would order if I came here on my own without filming. Then they have the two, the very less spicy, the three, the less spicy, the four, the medium signature, and the five, which is just very spicy. The highest level of spicy you can probably achieve in Thailand. Now, it's actually open from 10 in the morning till 7.30 in the afternoon. I can't read Thai, so I can't tell you from what day to what day, but very interesting, right? I love how the menu is displayed so that if you're an indecisive person like me, you can read it, make up your mind before you head on in there. Just got done placing our order. We actually ordered two different dishes to get our hands on a dish a little bit less spicy and of course the most popular option, the extremely spicy Pad Capra. Now we actually got one beef, one pork to show you guys a little bit of the best of both worlds. Let's be real, pork and beef make the world go round. Now, right now, I'm actually noticing that inside of this restaurant as well, they also do sell some merch. They sell t-shirts, some stickers, a couple of like hot sauces that you can take to go. Really, really cool. And let me just tell you, this restaurant is extremely small, but extremely beautiful. I love the transparency around the entire restaurant. You can look outside and see all of the life that's happening right in front of you. Here in Bangkok, it's never a dull moment. So to be able to enjoy a meal and the view, is always a must in my book. Now, we also did order some waters, a Coca-Cola, and the bill in total came out to 320 baht. So around 10 US dollars, not bad at all. I'm excited, but also a little nervous. Wow, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Wow, super cool, look at this guys. You can actually see the levels based on the chilies. Look, we got level two, which is spicy, so one chili. And we also got a level five with five chilies. How cool is that? Okay, now I'd be wrong to sit here and lie to you guys. I don't do the whole spicy, so I got the level two, but Gladys sure does. Now, how excited are you or nervous about this oh, I'm experience? I'm nervous. I'm super nervous because um, this looks rough. It looks <laughs> rough and it smells incredibly spicy, but I'm excited. I'm not only going to try mine, I'm also going to try the level 5 spicy as well. And we got a nice little comparison and we'll get to tell you which one we like better. The pork be or the beef? Now also, before we dive on into the food, I do want to let you know that Gladys is also filming the experience in Spanish for her Spanish channel. So if some of you guys would rather see this in Spanish, head over to her channel, Gladys Seara, and you'll be able to live the experience through her eyes as well. Now, time to do some serious some time serious spicy eating. Yeah, time to cry. Time to cry. <laughs> okay guys, so the time has come to dive on into this beautiful dish. Now along with your choice of protein, even if it's vegetarian option, they do have tofu or mushroom as a meat replacement. You do get sticky rice and of course a fried duck egg. Now this plate looks incredible, smells incredible. Mine doesn't smell nowhere near as spicy as Gladys's does. The plate that Gladys just got done messing with looks extremely dangerous and we are gonna try it, but first, Let's go ahead and try my level two, which is the very less spicy option. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the fried duck egg. Oh man, that, that egg looks incredible. This is actually my first time ever going to have fried duck egg. And I of course went with the beef option. Now, it looks like there's a bit of mint leaves in there. I'm not sure exactly what this one is, but let's go ahead and try it without the chili first. Wow, that is incredible. The combination of the beef, the rice, and the duck head goes perfectly together. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm not a spicy eater, and yeah, I can definitely feel the spice in this one, and this is literally the first level of spicy because level one is not spicy at all. Wow. Gladys, I don't know how you did that, the level five, because literally my mouth, my mouth on fire right now. Now, if you guys managed to make it here, please comment down below which level of spicy you were able to eat, because I don't think I could move it much, much more up a notch uh, than this one right here. Wow. 
That is amazing. And wow, it is so rich in flavor. Now, I don't know why they also include another um, spicy sauce here that is filled with like red and green chilies because I don't think I could put it on top. However, because it is here and we are filming, let's go ahead and add a little bit to the top of this bad boy and let's give it a go. Now, do keep in mind, I am not consuming this red chili right now. I'm gonna save that for the level spicy, the level five spicy plate so that I can say I had the full experience. Now, I do wanna let you guys know before I continue that here in this restaurant, it is cash only. So if you're coming here with just a card, you're not gonna be able to make any purchases. So do come here with cash so that you can buy yourself some Fedmark socks, a shirt, or even just a sticker. Okay. The salsa does have a kick to it, but it's more on the vinegary side of things. And I have to say it's a lot more sweet. Okay, now I'm feeling it. It is a little spicy. Yes, Gladys, I just took your plate. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. But this here is the disaster of a plate that Gladys just got done making. But she said it was incredible. The level of spiciness for her was actually quite spicy, but she felt it more a few minutes after eating. This here is the level five spicy, the spiciest plate you can have here in the restaurant. And she actually got hers as the pork option. So let's do one of these. Let's grab some. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the full experience here, guys. I'm not gonna eat the whole chili. I'm gonna eat just a bit. Oh man. Oh, you wanted that, huh? Okay. There we go, guys. That's as bad. That's about as far as I'm going with the chili. Let's go for it. Gladys set me up on that one. There's no way she felt that minutes after. Yeah, my tongue is on fire. Definitely could <laughs> taste the chili a lot more than everything else. I think my plate was definitely a lot more enjoyable, but... Wow, guys. I even just started busting a sweat. Okay, let's have some water. It's already open. Okay, that is extremely spicy. That's why there's five chilies on the menu. Wow, that is brutal. No. Wow, it's getting spicier as time goes on. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go for a little bit more egg. One more bite so that you guys don't leave me no comments like, oh, that was a baby bite. You know, let's have a little bit more. Okay, it's definitely a lot more pleasant without one of these bad boys in there. Actually, without the chili, it's not terrible. With this, terrible. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, finish my plate, stay away from the chilies. Both were amazing, in my opinion. I kind of like the beef taste a little bit more, maybe because I can taste the beef a little bit more than the pork, but yes, the verdict is in. This plate is extremely spicy. I'm starting to sweat, I'm starting to cry. I don't wanna to touch my face right now. I'm gonna put the camera down. The hiccups just started, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, now that the uh, spiciness has left my body a little bit, I do wanna let you guys know that, wow, man, this restaurant is also incredibly popular. There's a lot of people coming in here, ordering their to-go plates, a lot of delivery drivers popping their heads in here to grab food to go. So that really goes to show how incredibly delicious the plate actually is. Now, the reason why I wanted to throw that out there is because I've been to a lot of trendy restaurants in the world, you know, places that are Instagram famous, and the food quality is usually not that great. It's more um, the way that they played it and the environment. But here, wow, the environment is very simple. It's very minimalistic, but the food quality is 100% there. I absolutely enjoyed my plate. How was your level five spicy? I'm sorry, tu es que comerme. I had to eat all your plate because I ate your chili. Now I can leave the Fedmark restaurant without going home with a sticker now. I definitely would buy myself a shirt or a pair of socks, but 
we still got a lot more traveling to do a lot more places to visit so i think this sticker will look extremely nice on the laptop and just like that guys we are ending our mark queen's restaurant visit here in thailand wow fed mark definitely recommend coming on by even if you're not a fan of spicy the regular bowl that i had or the plate the pad caprao was incredible so rich in flavor and so delicious and i highly recommend buying a nice souvenir to take home with you it's always nice to you know support those people that you enjoy watching especially here on youtube and yeah i really wanted to support mark weems not only with his food but also by going home with a little something and they're quite cool right overall i think this place is definitely worth the visit the food was incredible and very reasonably priced especially for it being mark Wien's restaurant usually when you go to a restaurant that you know someone created that has a pretty big audience or a big name plates can be quite expensive however this was just slightly more expensive than what you would pay for certain dishes on the street not bad at all the vegetarian option is actually the cheapest it's 109 baht and the most expensive is the wagyu shank which is 269 which is around eight us dollars literally it doesn't matter where you go in los angeles where i'm from even if you go get a small teriyaki bowl with chicken it's going to easily cost you 11 dollars. so the fact that you can come here have an incredible meal for around six us dollars is unbeatable highly recommend it if you guys enjoyed this video please smash that subscribe button leave me a comment and i love to hear your feedback on what you guys think of mark Wien's restaurant here in bangkok thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon you are always I was the one to take a look I remember how it started